everyone. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me this week. So this week I'm going to be sharing some of the AI tools that Canva have released in terms of the beta version. So if you're interested in finding out some AI tools and beta version on Canva, then please keep on watching. So this week I'm going to be talking about some wonderful beta releases from Canva. Now Canva has completely changed my life. And I want to just emphasize that they're such a supportive company and all educators, if, if you're a teacher at an educational institution, you actually get the free pro version. So let me just move myself a little bit out of the way and show you one of the AI tools that I'm so excited to play around with. So let's first of all, just go to create design. Um, maybe I'm just going to do a basic square. So with a basic square or Instagram post, I'm going to move myself out of the way again. Let me make myself smaller so that I'm actually not in the way and move myself over here. There's this new AI tool that you can actually change your clothes. So I'm going to first of all go to my uploads and I've got some wonderful photos here from some of the workshops that I've had. So let's use this one here. Okay. And I'm just going to crop it a little bit. So, so let me just crop this so that I can just focus on myself. Let me make this a little bit smaller. Okay, so I'm just gonna enlarge this and I'm just gonna focus on myself. So you'll see in the edit photo option, there's this magic edit, which is in beta version. So if you click on that, first of all, you can remove the background. So let's just try that so that you can see what it looks like to remove the background. And it's thinking. And so you can see I've removed the background, which is great. I was working with these wonderful educators in South Africa. And let's go to Magic Edit. So use Magic Edit instead. Uh, this resets the background remover. So, okay, so let's just put that back in. So now let's go to Magic Edit, which will remove reinstate the background. So if I go here, I'm going to brush over the image. Okay, so I'm going to brush over the image. Uh, this is what I want to change. It's basically my outfit here. I think this is so much fun. Um, and I'm going to be exploring some other AI tools. Now my brush is quite big here, so I'm probably not going to be very accurate. So let me make my brush size a little bit smaller to 15. And then I'm going to get a little bit closer here. So just making sure that the bit that I want to replace is all colored in purple. And I'm just gonna try and be a little bit rough here, but you know, obviously the more accurate you are, the better your results gonna be. So I could zoom in and actually get around the fingers, but let's just see what happens. So I'm gonna continue and it says, describe what to generate. So I can generate snow, party hat, deer, but I want to change clothes. So I'm just going to type in here, change clothes. And let's see what happens. So I'm going to press change clothes and I'm going to press generate. And now it's going to be thinking for a little while. The, the AI is doing its magic. And normally it generates around four different options of outfits that are replaces. So oh, already, so you can see, um, it's pretty good actually. There's that outfit. Let's have a look at another one. There's another outfit. Looks like I've got a scarf there with some shoes that's replaced. Oh, here's a longer outfit, a long dress. And here's like, I think a bag that's hanging off me. <laughs> Let's just generate results again. And it's just thinking, it's going to give me another four different results here. And here we go. Oh, do I, I've got sneakers. They're a bit funny way around. But anyway, oh, this one's a bit better. Look at this dress. This is one of the AI tools on Canva, which is a beta version. And it's so much fun. I think this is just the beginning of AI tools that can really, I hope, enhance our workflow, which is what it's doing for me at the moment. I'm going to be exploring other AI tools and sharing them with you. Uh, thank you so much for joining me this week. And I really hope to see you next time. Bye.